Okay. So last up for me, I watched the movie Rustin. Oh, right. That is on Netflix, and it stars Coleman Domingo as Bayard Rustin, who I didn't know about, which, Mm -hmm. you know, you should. You should know about him once you watch this. It's a biopic, and he was a civil rights activist and organizer, and he was the one who organized the March on Washington in 1963. With Martin Luther King. Right. Mm Mm-hmm. And he had been friends with Martin Luther King, and they kind of go into this because they go across a couple different years in this. It's not just focused on one year. It starts earlier than 1963. He was friends with Martin Luther King, and they had a bit of a falling out, and then they get their friendship back together sort of around this march which is an amazing story just that they did this march and the obstacles that were in their way and particularly him he is a black man and he was gay and out and they were trying to weaponize that against him the people who didn't want this march to happen it was really really good Coleman is nominated for an Oscar for this performance and rightly so it's a phenomenal performance The other interesting thing is this is executive produced by Barack and Michelle Obama, which I did not know. Their new production company. Yeah, their production company. It's called Higher Ground. And when I clicked on it on Netflix, Barack Obama popped up and is like, kind of tells you like, it's not part of the movie, but it's more like the little primer before you click on the movie. Okay. He says, you should know him. And he was amazing. And I'm like, how are you involved in this? How did I not know mm-hmm. that your production company with your wife made this? But now I do know. And I watched it. And it was really, really good. So I highly recommend it. Highly. Yeah. There's been such positive reviews and reaction to his performance. And he is killing it on the red carpets with his looks. Like, oh, yeah. Good God, does he look fabulous. I know. He really is just doing... I. I saw one thing where he had like a gold coat on and just like, he's amazing. He looks fantastic. And then, you know, just like you, I did a little investigating, like, who is this Rustin? You know, knowing about civil rights and the movement and learning more about it. And of course, you know, we've only been taught this narrow narrative, which is Martin Luther King. And the idea of like that he did this somehow on his own is ridiculous. So who supported him? Who helped do these walks, these rallies? You know, who was his infrastructure? So for us to find out these additional, you know, true heroes of history, I think it's fantastic that this is like sort of the topic or the angle they're going to go with their production company. I mean, I'm not sure that's what they're going to do, but like one of their first movies. Yeah. This movie in particular. Some other amazing performances. I want to mention the actor who plays Martin Luther King Jr., Amel Amin. He was amazing. Mm. So good. And then also Jeffrey Wright was in there. He's kind of a jerk in this. He's... kind of against one of my favorites yeah he's so great Chris Rock oh Mm -hmm. is in there and then CC Pounder who I love she's a strong character she brings gravitas to any role watch out yeah she's so good and one of our favorites Devon Joy Randolph has a little bit in there she has a big singing thing at the march yeah, so just overall, it was really good and really worth watching. I'm glad I clicked on it and watched it. Thank you, Netflix. I think I will watch it now. I mean, the buzz around it, especially because the yeah. Oscar buzz, you know, it's on my list. But now it will move to the yeah. forefront. It's hard when there's a lot of things that you want to watch and then you kind of need to be reminded. Like, oh, yeah, scooch that right. up and get it get it exactly. on Exactly. Yeah, exactly. 